Hey guys, if you knew, I am Whiska, and if not, welcome. So this DIY will be about this scrunchy shoulder bag that I was expired by Alexander Wayne. I went through the website and I saw their bag and I'm like, wow, that's a beautiful bag. Let me do it. And bang, I did it. I did it with a thrifted sweater. So this is also a thrift flip. Hey. So stay tuned and continue watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit the bell button i will be posting new diys every tuesday and friday okay guys so keep watching so what we're going to need for this diy is a sweater or fabric i got this sweater from a thrift shop i thought the fabric was beautiful a purse that we're going to trace out any shoulder bag purse zipper pens pencil a elastic band our liner and also a piece of paper to trace out the bag. Oh yeah, don't forget about scissors and measuring tape. So I placed the shoulder bag right on top of the scrap paper, getting ready to trace out the shoulder bag. But I put the measuring tape right on the bottom. I wanted to make sure that the bottom piece is 26 centimeters, just like the Alexander Wander bag. Wait, did I say wonder? I mean way. And on the side, I did 14 centimeter, just like the back that we are trying to duplicate. So when I was tracing, I make sure I take my time and try to follow the pattern of the back. It will not be perfect, but it's okay as long as you got the shape. Also, I added extra seam allowance. When I make patterns, I always make sure I add extra seam allowance. It is optional. It's up to you guys, but I just think it makes the process much smoother. And one last thing is when you tracing it out, always use a pencil because like I said, it will never, it, it will not be perfect the first try. So it might be, it might not, you know, who knows? So if it's not perfect though, you could always erase it. And you guys are going to see that like I am trying to make it perfect. I'm erasing. So I am going to let you guys watch the rest of the video so you guys can see how I am tracing out the bag. after you done cut it out so while i'm cutting out this piece i want to know how you guys are doing how my lovelies doing y'all today is friday okay are y'all gonna go wild stay home how's y'all weekend like are y'all gonna do anything for the weekend any parties any plans comment down below i would love to know guys i am not going to do nothing for the weekend so i'm staying and it's pretty chilly in new york so i will be staying in watching my forensic file and sipping on my wine <laughs> now we are going to trace the side and i am basically tracing out the same way like the side of the purse is once i done that i'm making sure that the side is still 14 centimeters Once that done, you cut that out.
So now it's time for the straps. And what I did was measure it up to 32 centimeters. And the width would be one and a half inches. Alrighty, so now that we got our patterns all set, now it's time to cut out the purse. So what I did was turn the sweater facing the right side. So I turn it inside out and, and now I am going to trace it out using our pattern. So even though I added extra seam allowance making the pattern, I also going to add extra seam allowance as well, just because, you know, you just never know. Like, I just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> Now we are cutting the side of the purse. Make sure that you cut in now two pieces of the side of the purse. Finally, it's time to cut the straps. Now for the liner, I am basically doing the same thing. I am using our pink fur fabric to cut out the shape. So I am not doing nothing really different guys. So I'ma just let you guys watch me cut out the shape with the lining fabric. Once we got our pieces all together, now we are going to attach the pieces together by pinning them up. So I'm starting with the sides and then I am moving to the bottom and then I'm starting with the side, other side of the bag. And I'm going to do the same process with the lining. Once you're done, it will look like this. Now it's time to sew. Also, don't forget to leave space at the bottom of the lining. Do not sew completely everything at the bottom. Leave at least two inches open at the bottom of the lining. After sewing them, we are going to attach the zipper onto the bag and then we are going to pin the sides of the zipper. Then we're going to sew it on. Now it's time to do the straps and I face the straps right sides together and then we're going to sew them. To make it easier, I recommend pinning it before you sew it.
Now I'm using a safety pin to turn it inside out. And when you turn it inside out, you just push and then pull. You push first and then you pull. Now I'm getting my elastic band and pushing it right through the strap so it could give this scrunchy effect. So now it's time to attach the straps together and I just placed it on the side of the bag and then pinning it. For the liner, I turn it the other way and then I am placing it right on top of the bag and then I am going to pin it all around. And once you're done, you just turn it the right side and then voila, here's your bag, your scrunchy shoulder bag, okay? So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and also subscribe and click on the bell button so you won't miss another DIY. My next DIY will be on Tuesday. Every Tuesday and Fridays, I'm posting a new video. So guys, stay tuned.